First question is from C.W. Bowserman. If you're not getting, if you're not able to get eight hours of sleep in a row, is it worth it to try to take a nap to make up for it? Well, okay, two things. Mm. First, you can't totally make up for lack of sleep at night with naps, but it does help a lot. Right. Okay, so it's not like you're uh, you're fixing the problem. It's not. It's not. It's it's kind of like a band aid a little bit. But you definitely do get benefits. So it's study- like the, it's like supplements to Whole Foods. Yeah, it's something like you know what so- I'm saying like it's it's better than you not right. 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 But then you, Whole Foods are the way to go. Good nights, full nights, the rest. Yeah. Is the so best let's way to go. let's say you get six hours of sleep and you don't nap and you compare yourself to take, getting six hours of sleep with a nap. You're going to get better health. You're going to get be more alert, less inflammation if you add the nap. But if you compare that to a full hour, eight hours of sleep at night. It's not going to be uh, as good now, Adam. When you had uh, your Max is now, um, I mean, he's still he's still a little guy, but he was just born not that long ago. Crazy how fast time flies, by the way. Um, sleep is obviously one of the first things that is just not the best when you first have a baby. Were you finding yourself napping? Were you doing anything like that? I actually didn't nap at all, and I'm actually uh, you're putting me on a front street here. Uh, I'm actually not a good example in this because. Um, it was only a short while. The, the 30 days where I was home with Katrina mm-hmm. uh, was the only real 30 days that my sleep was really interrupted. Um, she's taking taking that on completely herself. So she has managed. And once I once I read to him at night after his bath time, and and I put him down sometimes. So we go back and forth on who puts him down. But after I put him down, or she puts him down, uh, the, the whole night shift, like she has managed that completely. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I'm a bad example of somebody who's like like your typical fathers who like you know talk about not getting sleep all the time. Um, but when I when I was, uh, you know, I could I would adjust my my eating habits and then also whether how I was training based off of that. So there has been nights so I was, hasn't I haven't been 100 percent perfect with nights since we've had Max and especially in the first 30 days. Uh, during that time, I was modifying my workout. So I was doing a lot of more like recuperative stuff, working in. I mean, I was not training intensely when he, those those first three days because I already knew that I wasn't mm-hmm. getting great sleep. Like to go in the gym and hammer the shit out of myself too, not ideal. I know they recommend to new moms uh, to like nap when the baby naps to help make up for the lack of sleep, uh, you know, at, at night. Um, here's the other part of naps that are awesome. Uh, forget about making up for poor sleep. It does help, like I said, but forget that for a second. Naps on top of your good sleep that you get at night has muscle building benefits. Uh, you know, bodybuilders and strength athletes and strongmen naps in maps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's on fire. Yeah. Uh, have have utilized a mid afternoon nap um, for a long time and have found they've all said that this is great for building muscle this is great for recovery but they need to be short you don't want to go to you don't want to go i was going to speak to that because i don't know if you guys have done a a stint of a nap where it was like an hour or half hour or 10 minutes i always prefer the 10 minute naps because then you wake up and you're a little more energized versus if i go a little bit too long it almost ruins the rest of my day in terms of me being more drowsy well yeah or you have the counter that but sometimes if i get like if i were to get an hour or a two hour nap in the daytime, it screws up my sleep for the next night. Right, yeah. exactly. The so night. Then, then I can't fall asleep exactly. at you know nine o'clock, ten o'clock at night. I'm wide awake till two in the morning. So sometimes I will, ha- if I have a bad night's rest, I'll modify my workout, pay attention to my eating because I also notice I have cravings on that time, and then just tough it out until the evening. And then I go yeah. to bed and get a really. It's good only when rest. I have maybe a few days where I'm strung together where I've had really terrible sleep where I'll probably end up in the middle of the day just being like, look, I'm just like so ineffective right now. <laughs> I have to just shut it down. So I, I've got this down to a science, okay? So I love t- using naps to, uh, to to reinvigorate myself and to feel better for the la- the second half of the day, you know, when I want to give good attention to the kids and to Jessica when I'm home from work. So anything more than about 30 minutes, I wake up and I feel like uh, out of it, maybe bad mood, a little groggy. If it's an hour and I wake up, I'm like a zombie until it's time to go to bed. So for me, it's between 20 to 30 minutes. And here's here's what I do. Here's my hack, right? I go home. I get my headphones. I don't go in a totally dark room because I don't want to go so deep in sleep that, I, again, I wake up like uh, half asleep. Do you do like a brain FM? Like 100%. Oh, okay. I put my headphones on. I go brain FM. 20, 30 minutes. It probably takes me about five to seven minutes to fall asleep. I have no idea. All I know is, is about 30 minutes later, 
I wake up and I feel uh, alert. I feel good, right. and it doesn't it doesn't interfere. You're such a, you get in that ram a lot quicker. I feel. It, you're, well, so, yeah. you're such a bad example, though, dude. Yeah. You're the guy like this dude. Can, <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, right? This, we're not even off the plane. Anytime we're in a car, the plane a hasn't. Plane. Yeah, plane, a car doesn't matter. This dude can sleep anywhere. We're yeah, sitting yeah. on the couch. We're all watching TV. Kids running around just. <laughs> Just, yeah. he just falls asleep. And the minute you go to mess with him, he wakes up. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you are like a spidey. This is a weird, a <laughs> like weird a soldier. <laughs> yeah, like Somebody's a weird hack me. that you <laughs> have. Like. Dude, listen, the Brain FM. Put it on. 20, 30 minutes yeah, later. Yeah, I need that. You sleep and you wake up and you're and you're great. Yeah. You're, you're totally good. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it takes me a little long. And again, I don't do it in a totally dark room because then I get too deep in sleep and it's hard to, to wake up. 